Hello learners, in this program I will discuss about the Rapakivi texture, it is a magmatic texture in which alkali feldspar is rimmed by plagioclase. Remember alkali feldspar is rimmed by plagioclase, plagioclase is calcic plagioclase. Example is Rapakivi granite, Rapakivi texture found in granite therefore, we call it as Rapakivi granite. We use Rapa Kiwi texture as a prefix here to define a rock. Rapa Kiwi granite shows feldspars. These are the feldspars, rounded feldspars. These are the rounded feldspar grains without plagioclase rims and typical orthoclase feldspar with darker plagioclase rims. Some of the orthoclase they have darker plagioclase rims, these are the darker plagioclase rims here. As a result, you get formation of Rapa Kiwi texture. How this Rapa Kiwi texture looks under the microscope? It shows Rapa Kiwi texture. Here, Sanadine, Sanadine is a high temperature feldspar, rich alkali feldspar surrounded by polysynthetically twinned. This see here, these strips these strips of polysynthetically twinned oligoclase, oligoclase is again a variety of plagioclase. So, these feldspars were produced by mixing of sanadine bearing rhyolite magma with basaltic andesite magma. So, if you find such kind of texture, what does it indicate? It indicates mixing of two types of magma. The Rapa Kiwi texture under thin section is shown here, but in a different rock. Plagioclase is of the plagioclase rim, this is a plagioclase actually. This C, this shows repeated twinning, this plagioclase crystal is showing repeated twinning. This is directly in contact with orthoclase crystal, this orthoclase crystal is alkali feldspar crystal and this is a contact zone. Again here, Plagioclase of the plagioclase rim of the Rapakivi texture in contact with orthoclase. This plagioclase is in contact with orthoclase and see this contact carefully. This contact is little bit showing corroded or this is a regular contact. It shows corrosion and this represents volume to volume, molecule to molecule, atom to atom replacement. The plagioclase is myrmicatized here, this plagioclase here in the contact zone, the plagioclase is myrmicatized. What is myrmicatized? The plagioclase basically it is a silicate rock, silicate mineral, calcium aluminum silicate. Once this legend, silicate legend is detached from calcium and aluminum, quartz is left in the system and this quartz is present here in the form of a vermicular quartz and this vermicular quartz shows myrmicitic texture and the rock is myrmicitized rock. See here plagioclase of Rapa Kiwi rim, I am citing how different varieties of Rapa Kiwi textures are there in the rock. Plagioclase of Rapa Kiwi rim, plagioclase external margin, see external margin here, this external margin, I am talking of this external margin, detached at some places this margin here, this entire crystal is detached from the main crystal and enclosed by K feldspar. This is black dark colored K feldspar or potash feldspar, maybe orthoclase, whatever it is shows corrosion. This contact shows corrosion. Corrosion means very irregular. Here lot of replacement has taken place. As a result, you got corrosion. Reaction margin, a inversion of the polysynthetic twinning and myrmicitization. As I told you earlier in the previous slide also, the myrmicitization is taking place. That means, the silicate legend is detached from the calcium and aluminum cations and this forms a quartz and this quartz is mostly in the form of a vermicular quartz. Learners, let us summarize what we have learned. We have learned about the Rapa Kiwi textures. Thank you very much. Music